Hey guys, welcome back to my channel of Sparrows and Butterflies. Today's video is going to be another review of, of a product that Timberdoodle uh, Company has sent me. I want to give them a great big shout out and I thank you. Timberdoodle is an amazing homeschool um, company, community. They sell individual things for homeschooling or you could buy whole curriculum packs for homeschooling. Um, if you've never checked them out, go ahead and check out the link below. Um, they're pretty awesome. And coming up soon, they're going to have some amazing sales as everybody's starting to buy next year's curriculum. Can you believe that already? It's a little scary. Um, but anyways, today's review is on the Edison Robot. Now this Edison robot is comes included in the fourth grade uh, curriculum pack, or you can buy it individually. This Edison robot is super fun. It's small. It has just a few buttons here, and then an on and off button here, but then it has sensors. So it's got a sensor here, it's got sensors here. Um, I'm sure there are more sensors that I don't even know about. My son pointed out that it has these um, areas right here, so you can build Legos on top of it. Pretty cool. Um, and then it ha is run by batteries, so the batteries just go in this section here. So what is this robot for? Well, it can be used just as almost like a remote control car, um, or you can have some more fun with it and make it educational in that you can actually train it to go certain directions. You can code a program and um, tell it the exact path you want it to take. There's a lot of different things that you can do with this little tiny robot car. Now, I'm going to point out that this is actually pretty, for the size, it's actually pretty heavy. Um, and it's really durable. This has bumped into so many things as we were trying it out and exploring everything that it can do. And there is like, there's no scratches anywhere on this. Like this is really well made and it'll stand up to um, experimentation for sure. So there's lots of things that you can do with this and I'm not gonna share them all with you now. I'm just going to give you um, what it comes with and what my opinions of it was. Now, like I said before, Timber Doodle did send this to me um, and it was in exchange for an honest review. So this is going to be my honest review of this little tiny robot. First off, this thing comes in a really cute box. Um, this is kind of all open now, but it comes really tightly packaged. Let me see if I can get it repackaged there. So this thing comes in this little tiny box. That's it, okay? So on the box, you're gonna open it up and you're gonna see these lines. We'll get to those in a minute. Um, then it's gonna say on this side what comes in this box, which was this here and the cord, which I will show you in a minute. Um, then you open it and you see that you have some instructions. So all your ins your basic instructions for this robot come on this box, which I thought was pretty genius. See, every step as you open it, which I really liked. Um, it was really cool. So that's what it looks like. Pretty cool thing. Um, and then it also tells you, you can go onto the website and download some more items, um, which I will actually show you in a moment. So along with this, I was asked to also review the Edblocks um, curriculum that you can get online. And it was a free curriculum and I, I'm pretty sure it's free to everybody. Um, and it just gave you like different options of what you can do. Now my printer was out of ink, so it printed kind of pink and just some some of the things were actually printed correctly like the black lines all printed correctly which I was very happy for but for the most part it's all this color for me um you could choose to print it in black and white or you could choose to print it in color um and it is a pretty thick book that just gives you gives you different ways to use your robot 
Um, it's pretty good at explaining what you should do and when you should do it. But I will say I had some trial and error with it um, because I'll show you these black lines. Now I did print out the lines with the the papers with the lines on them on a couple different sheets of paper from a different couple different printers to see if it was my printer's fault. But um, at first, this was not picking up the directions that is in this coded line here. So we did have a lot of trial and error with that and it ended up being a simple fix. We just put a blank piece of the white paper underneath it and then it read it perfectly fine. It did take us quite a while. It was very frustrating to figure that out. But now you know. Put a blank piece of paper underneath and it'll read that perfectly. Um, the instructions, very easy to use and follow. The website where you can go onto the Edblocks website, I believe is what it's called, and code your path was super cool. And I will put a link in here. Um, and you can just see it's very simple to use. It's very kid friendly. If your kids have ever done any coding programs, then this will be super easy. And if you haven't, um, if they haven't used any kid programs for coding, this is such a fun way to start learning how to code. Because you get to see your coding on the computer transfer into your little robot and move along the way that you wanted to go. So that was a really satisfying thing for my children. Now my kids are in sixth and fourth grade. My sixth grader um, has been really busy, so she didn't really get a chance to really use this all that much. She did play around with it for a few minutes and really enjoyed it. My fourth grader really thought this was cool. Like, it was super cool. Um, it has a sensors here, so when it would sense that there was something here, it would just move and go a different direction. Um, there is a clapping, so a sound sensor, you can direct it how to go that way. You can also do it by light, and that was his favorite one. So we turned off the lights and we got a flashlight and we just went around and he directed this where to go with that. That was definitely his favorite. He did try out the coding part of it, um, I thought it was pretty cool, but he has done some other coding things before um, with similar products. And so it was just as fun as those, but because he had done those before, he didn't really spend much time with it. He really enjoyed just guiding this with a flashlight. So you can make it fun, you can make it educational. It would be a perfect gift or it could be part of your school and it would be really, really fun. Um, as I said, this comes in a pack. I believe it is the fourth grade pack, or you can buy it individually. I will have the link to the uh, school pack that it is in below, so you can go directly to that, or I will have the individual link also posted below. Um, that way, if you wanna check this out more, get some more details, you can go ahead and do that. Now, I will say that this works with um, Windows and I believe it also works with um, Apple products. Um, and I did wanna show you really quickly the little cord that it comes with. And this is so that you can hook it up into your computer and get the coding from the computer to the actual robot. And it's just this tiny little cord hoping it shows up for you guys. Um, I already twisted it back up, so let me just undo that real quick. And this is simply what it is. So this one goes into your computer, and this one goes into a port in on the little robot. And it all can store inside here. So if you're not using it, I would highly suggest taking the batteries out. That's what I do with all of our electronics. Um, if we're not using it for a while, we take the batteries out and this cord will wrap right in and store inside of it perfectly. That way, if this is misplaced, it's all misplaced together and it's all refound together, which works for me. So that is my review. I really liked it. Um, I wanna say thank you again to Timberdoodle for sending me this fun little 
uh, robot car thing. We're going to continue to have fun with it, continue to learn how to code and um, send it on some neat little trips. If you have any questions that I did not answer about this, go ahead and leave them below and I will do my very best to answer those. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoy seeing reviews of different products or curriculums, give me a thumbs up so I know to continue to do them. And thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So I want you to hit this center button three times. Okay, and let's grab it. And then here, come here. Let's take this and once you get the forward button. Okay. Nice. Super cool. Huh? <laughs> nice. Why don't you grab the stop? Okay, hit that square button in the middle and you can stop it. Nice. Awesome. There we go. Yeah, it always runs over this one. Pretty close though. <laughs> so <pretty good>. <laughs> <laughs> it's trying to read. Thank you. 